Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm back. All right, a couple things I wanted to talk to because I'm starting to get stuff in, obviously, with the um, for this dual motherboard, one side streaming, the other side's going to be my regular gaming rig. First thing I want to do is bring this over a little bit. Oops, I don't want that falling off there. So there's our mini ITX, the ITX board. The problem I ran into and what I grabbed is I, I got a a um a Fantech vertical mount coming. And I come to realize after doing a little bit of reading that when you mount a vertical mount, in case anybody has any questions about this, if you ever plan on doing it, a vertical mount at this point only runs in PCIe 3.0. So depending on what you have, like this is an ASRock board, so it's not quite as easy to go into the BIOS and change, but it's still able to be done. Um, MSI and the other companies, Gigabyte, much easier. It's right there. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done. Like I said, with the ASRock, it's just a couple different steps. So, from the looks of it, as you, as, as you can see, mounting anything in here is really going to be hard. Like, this is the length, a little bit, well, it's about the length of a regular three fan, maybe a little bit longer. So, that would be impossible because it gets in the way. So, obviously, I'm going to need a vertical mount. So what I want to do is I was thinking of putting under here, I've got some tools where I can put it indent like it's countersunk, some drill some holes and I can put the vertical, the Fantech mount in there and I can use a 2 card 3070 Ti or a 3070, I don't know which one I'm going to use. I don't think it matters as long as it's one of the newer NVENC chips on it. And I'm going to do a vertical mount from here. It's going to be water cooled. Um, I'm not quite going to use, I'm not using this. I've got like a number of them, but I decided to build another water cooler. It's all going to be alpha cool. It's a low profile. It's about one inch. The, 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 the little motor is inside. The pump is inside of it. So... Here's one of mine that's actually not that big. So you can see the thickness. Picture about one inch. So I'm going to say that's one inch. So it's going to knock off three quarters of an inch. So it will fit under there with no problem. It's going to be a little bit of a project, but it's going to be fun. It's going to look good. I was almost going to use this, but I said, you know, what the heck, I wanted to build another one anyway, so I'm going to do a video on that as soon as the pots all get in. Actually, they're in rope. Okay, so you can see the ASRock X570. I am going to try, before I do the vertical mount, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to try to run the 57, the AMD Ryzen 57, Ryzen 7 57G, 8 core, um, 16 threads, I think it's 16, 8 core 16, something like that, anyways, um, and from what I've been reading, that should handle a stream with no problem, so if I can stream at 1080p, 30 frames, which will look beautiful, you don't have to have 4K, believe me. It, it's not even close. 90% of the people out there streaming are doing it in 720, a lot of them. 1080p is really good at 30 frames. Uh, 60 frames is just overkill. I checked with a couple people that do streaming, and they even said, nah, they don't even stream at that. So I'm talking professional streamers. Um, strange thing about this board is it's really, really got some large heat sinks like this fan sticks all the way out to the end of this oh so onward 
right now the only thing I'm waiting on this just came in I'll show you that in a minute I'm waiting on the vertical mount and I'm also waiting on the the, the APU the CPU with the built-in graphics so I'm gonna move this aside and show you what we're gonna be using for power supply I might have to do a little adjustment on this camera I ended up going with the revolt 1200 watt power supply this is a dual power supply there's two power supplies in one my main board's probably going to use up the majority if i don't need to mount a gpu in here it's going to be very minimal on how much juice this board is really going to require basically to run the cpu and the elgato um capture card so what i wanted to do was an unboxing and do a little explaining about this so you can actually see what's what's going on wow this razor must be pretty dull i gotta change that actually yeah i would say so okay oh they really wrapped this baby up tight 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 it in a beetle book 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 okay so here we have the revolt fantech actually fantech all the parts in here um are prob i think yes i think they're, they're made through um seasonic which absolutely makes the best the best all high-end japanese components okay which end do we want to open here we got the whole thing I know I've got some cutting on this to do, cutting on the video, so I know it's going to be a little bit longer. I am going to start live streaming, and I'm going to start live streaming sales on the um, computer parts. And I know a lot of people need GPUs, and I'm going to have them at a very reasonable price, right down, whoa, probably MSRP. I don't see no reason why I can't do that. I got accepted by three distributors, national distributors. Took a lot of work. Oh, my God. Felt like I was running for a freaking office. Um, okay, so how's this open here? Yeah, huh? yeah, okay. Wow, they really do pack this bad boy in there. I don't want to spoil the box. So it looks like this end comes up. Yes, okay, the typical. Pull it out. Okay, we have, wow, look at the thickness. His, holy mackerel. Here's a cable that comes with basically every computer. Power cable. Here's the cable that comes with this power supply. It's got to be double the thickness. Holy, I didn't realize that. Can you all see that? So there's one thing that I haven't seen in a video. There's not too many videos out about this. Okay, along with it, comes with a little package of wire ties, a pamphlet, and some Velcro wraps that say Fantech on it. Wow, nice. Let's check them out. Yeah, I like them. They're nice looking. Nice and clean. All right, beauty. Onward, sir. So we do have that. The booklet. All right. Now, hey, caramba. Now we have, comes with a nice, Wow, Velcro bag. Jesus, this thing is really Velcro, super Velcro. All right, comes with a bag. In this bag, it's all um, SATA cables, and there's a lot of them. Well, and it also has some six pin. If you go that route, well, the six pin obviously you have to, that's what you plug into. It. And over here, you can see we have 
I'm going to need scissors to get this open. These scissors I just got them. They are sharp. Alright. So. CPU. What I want to get to is there's a 24 and these are all interchangeable with this CPU with this CPU with this power supply you can use and it said it right when I went on the company website you can use the power from the 8 pin if you're only running one to your motherboard you can use it for your GPU they made them interchangeable they're the same exact thing the plugs are identical Except they say PCI, one says CPU, or GPU on it, whatever, CPU and GPU. Okay, so we got a 24 pin. Again, another 24 pin. So these are just, they're nice, nice, nice braided cables. They're not too long. What I'm going to do is probably leave them because I am going to be folded up. So I am going to be using cable extensions. Well, for the, for the front anyways. Okay. It comes with a ton of the six and two PCIs and it comes with at least I think three yes it comes with three okay um, power supply comes wrapped typical this is just pretty normal to see it in one of these pouches wow nice nice polished aluminum it's got at least, it looks like a hundred and, I don't think that's a 140 millimeter fan in there. I'd have to look on the specs, but let's look at the back, the most important thing. So you can see in the back of this, you know something, let me get a little bit of light over here for you. That would probably help. I think that's definitely better. Okay. So you can see in the back of this, you have your 24 pin, there's 18, and then the rest going there, it all merges into one. You have a CPU, a CPU at top. Over here, it's got a rubber, they have rubber little fillers there. Another 24 pin. That's where your 24 pins are going to go. Another two CPU. Or GPU. Like I said, if you really want to look at it, let it focus in. You can see they are all identical in shape, size, everything. So, 24. So now we have our SATA. There's four SATAs. We have one, two, three PCIs for the card in the back a 3070 would take two you can add two more it says CPU but you can use it for GPU be honest you can look on this site it's perfectly fine one two I, I don't run two because I don't do a lot of overclocking so I can use CPU one and CPU two one will go to the front Two will go to the back, the streaming. The rest of these will be left off for GPU, which is going to give me one, two, three, four, five GPU. Plenty, plenty. On the back of the case, you have your typical power cable plug. Power switch, and you can go from gaming to hybrid. Basically, you're going to go from active to static. So, silent mode, if you want to call it. And this is probably out, is probably the fan mode where it stays running all the time. That's quite a good sized fan in there. So, that's what I just wanted to go over with you. I wanted to show you this. Um, we're running. Yeah, so you can tell everything. It says right back here. Um. All the eight pins, including the, P, the, C, the CPU and the GPU, are all 12 volt. So that's not an issue. 120 watts to every one of those eight pins, 
All the eight pins carry 120. And for the CPU, we're looking at um, the power that goes into it, CPU 125. Actually, the 24 pin, I'm sorry. So, looks like Fantech really hit the nail on the head. Nice, clean. It's got its nice, nice look to it. So let's take a little look at what it's going to look like inside. It's in place. We're going to move all this out of the way. I already did a short video. Oh, that's... I like to use these when you use them for, for, for um, adapters for your fans. You can put five fans on one. Boom. You can run these all over the place. One, one 12 volt fan power plug from a board can run... I forgot what they said. Six, eight fans with no problem. RGB is separate. There's different hubs for that. So this is how we're looking at this going in. I'm not quite sure yet. Probably this would be... I'm going to say put this stuff towards the back. Yeah. Yeah, definitely because this is going to be pulling in where the fan goes. Where the opening is. Let's see how much we have here. Wow. Okay. We're going to lift it up. Boom. Nice fit. I'm wondering if I can basically run that GPU strap over the water cooling system. Knock out some little holes. I wouldn't drill them. I wouldn't want to get in there because I'd have to empty this whole thing out. I would probably get a punch and knock out a couple holes. Put some screws in there. And mount that GPU bracket for the riser. And so it's either could go there. I think there would just be enough room. More room over here actually if I go with a wider card. These new cards, the heat sinks on them. Oh, they're huge. I, I definitely need to go like with something. Let's say I ran that cable down to here. This would have to go like so. That wouldn't work. Um, that wouldn't work. Well, actually it would. It would work. I just have to do a little bit of, yeah, because, yeah, it would work. There is a little bit of room back there. Or, I can mount it up top like I was thinking, if I do go with a GPU, and bingo. I can mount that thing anywhere in there, and seeing that it's water-cooled, that wouldn't be an issue. The CPU would stay cool. There's a little fan inside of this for the VRAM. Good heat sink on that. And I'm also thinking of putting a little adapter, because this is what i seen, and I didn't like it. Put, making, a little, making a little adapter, a little hinge, where I could put a little fan to blow in between okay so what we're looking at right here let me go to the top i've got another heat sink coming this one's aluminum i've got one almost identical to it coming that is made of all copper copper is about at least three to four times better conductor than aluminum is so I've got a grooved one coming. It's held on by little straps like this. It will fit right under there. But that's where they put it, in back of it. And it's also going to be in back of another. So there's going to be the main board and then that. I, I see that as being an issue. The heat sink gets hot. It's going to definitely throttle, throttle down the, uh, the memory. So it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be that hard to put a little adapter with a small fan that blows in between and pushes air in between these. The air would be blown out through the cracks and through the bottom. I know it sounds kind of guinea rig, I, I, I get it, but when it comes to taking care of your equipment, and this isn't really going to be seen in the back, what's more important, keeping it cool and fast or hot and throttled up, you know? Uh, of course, cool. With the With the, with the water cooler I'm, I'm going to be building, wow, this is getting heavy real fast. With the water cooler that I'm going to be building, it's going to be beautiful because I ordered adapters 
quick adapters. We can plug them together. They're made by Alphacool. You screw them together, but they used to pop out by pulling them like you know on an air hose used to do. Boom, boom. But that's too easy to make a mistake and pull it out. So these clip in with the rubber um, rings, seals it, and then you screw it on and it almost tightens it up like you're doing a compression fitting. You can loosen that, take them off. So I can easily run the hose through here. I'm going to back this up a little bit now. So I can run it there or I can run the hoses through here and bingo right up to here. So this is kind of an idea on if I do it how I could do it. I could come through there if I wanted. I'm not going to use the braid and I just looked at it. I, I'd rather go plain rubber. I do like the look of it. And bingo i can go right in there and that will be fine it won't stick in it won't it won't hit nothing i hope you're able to see all that with no problem yeah you, you get the idea okay so that's a rubber grommet up top if you can't see that i don't want to keep moving the camera or we can go right in this side and it goes right there and the the um, fittings on the alpha cool they can be they do a 360 so I can move them directly up one down one up I can run this any way I want one out this way that way they get a little swivel adapter or straight down so keeping that CPU cool is not going to be an issue. Putting a GPU in there, that's going to be an issue. But anyways, it's all good in the hood, brother. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to explain a little bit. I wing the stuff. I, I don't have a teleprompt. I, I don't have a script. A lot of these professionals, you probably wonder how they ramble on, boom, boom, boom. They got a script. They got teleprompts. You just can't see them. When I do videos, I may sound a little bit stuck on things sometimes. Excuse me. But um, I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I'm saying, you know, please excuse me. But I wing it. I read up on the stuff before I put it in. I talk about what I feel about it. And I do the videos. My brother was asking me, he's like, do you practice some of this stuff? Do you? No, I don't. I, I just, it's off the cuff. That's why sometimes maybe I give the wrong question. If, if, you, if I say something wrong, I've had people correct me, and they were right. Um, but that's okay, because everything that happens, it's a learning experience for me as well. Anytime I'm corrected, if they're right, it's a learning experience for me, and I ain't got no problem with that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. When I get the um, heat sink for the, for the M.2 in, and the riser cable and the GPU, I will continue on with this. So this is going to kind of sit in limbo for a while. So like I said, today's the first. You may not see the rest of this video. I was thinking about putting it out there alone just like this, but well, I probably could. So let me do a little editing on this, clean it up a bit, and get back to you. Please remember to give me a, a, a like even a sub, a sub, and it's greatly appreciated. Um, I really do enjoy doing this. I enjoy helping people out, and I'd, I'd love to get paid for it, but this isn't what my goal is with this. Uh, my goal is to be running the store now that we've got this stuff all sealed up and things are coming in and start to sell things. I actually just got in... Uh, I get in today. Now, obviously, that's too big to put in there. In 3080. I've already pretty much had someone contact me. And this is getting sold for... I purchased it. Yeah, they're getting it for... um. What is it? $7.99? Or $7.50? No. $8.25 after taxes. Of course, I can't give away my prices, what I get from the distributor, but 
And they're also as well, all these cards that are coming out now, other than the 3090, they're all LHR. So unless you're getting an older, older one, anything that I get is probably going to be LHR. So if you're into um, mining, well, I heard they already cracked that and they're getting up to 70, 75% back. So <laughs> I guess cards are going to stop being a hot item again. But right there, it's listed LHR. All right, again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give me some feedback. And I'll be seeing you all around soon. Have a good one. Take care.